back to four pixels. Avery, <laughs> Justin, and our guest Pixel Less again, playing some more Destiny. We love having Destiny. Oh, it's not there. Oh, they moved it. They moved what? Was there they some... moved it from the beta. There's a cache up there. Ah. Uh, I guess too many people know about it. Yeah, Les here was a beta tester for the game. Um, looks like he got he, he got a what was it earlier? You got an award um, of some sort. I got an emblem, a veteran's emblem. You got an emblem, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, for all my hard work. <laughs> Staying up for three days straight without any <laughs> sleep, and uh, I got a sticker to put on my shoulder. Yeah, that's what you get for going hardcore with Bungie. You get a sticker. It says well done. You know what else that reminds me of? Chicken. Pokemon. You know what you get? For catching all 151 Pokemon kids in the original games? You get a little post-it note that says, hey, congratulations. You just spent so we can jump to any planet like three months of your life catching all these Pokemon. And uh, yeah, we just want to say thank you. And uh, that, that's 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 pretty much it. That's all you get. Uh, not a not a special Pokemon, not a special Pokeball, not not a special uh, you know anything. You just a just a little little post-it note saying hey thanks. Well, and, I think uh, the point of catching all Pokemon is the personal achievement of having all the Pokemon. I mean, if you want to look at it, and it's 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 its own reward. I'm pretty sure that's how but, most of the world looks at it. Yeah, I mean. It's an accomplishment, but... I mean, you're an entitled person. I mean, I... I want some special, like, Pokemon transformation abilities for that, you know, that much effort. You know... Transformation? Yeah, I want some ball-tingling Pikachu sensation. Well, you said all 150, so you're talking about the original Pokemon. Yeah. The yeah. original Pokemon didn't have that Pokemon X and Y Mega Evolution shit. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Basically, I want the Pokemon trainer to turn into like a wear Pokemon and eats people's faces. I want to say Mega Evolution data. <laughs> there comes to a point, my fair viewers, that um, everything that comes out of Justin's face my is face. just not my mouth, my face. His face. Uh, <laughs> we'll just. It'll riddle you with cancer. Scanning for the warp drive. Um, Riddling. Bad news. It's already like a Ritalin. I'm bald. I'm terminal. <laughs> Thank you guys for your great contributions to this conversation. You are welcome. <laughs> so uh, so now what's what's going on with your supervision here? What's, yeah, what's this? Um, this stuff? actually tells me that the area is uh, no spawn reef. So if I die, I'm over. Whoa, what? That's kind of cool. Yeah. Only in certain areas. Um, also, if you're not in a group, then anyone who walks next to you vanishes and they get the group. I'm actually a big fan of, like, Iron Man mode-esque games where if you die, you start over. I don't have to start over completely, I just have to start this part over. I figured. You know, you know what game you never, uh, you never beat? Uh, Rogue. Yeah, what was it? Legacy? Yeah, I know. I, guys. I lost it, so. Guys. Play Rogue Legacy. <laughs> I'll I'll do a playthrough for you guys in the future eventually. We yeah, we will. And uh, I just I want you guys to experience the pure dread, rage, and fear that will come with this game. I mean, it's really not that bad. Yeah. At least maybe for people that suck at video games, but it really wasn't it, that bad. <laughs> it gets bad later on. It gets tedious. Especially when you run out of rooms on that floor and you're just like, oh, well, there's nowhere else to go. I'll, I'll move to the next floor. And the next floor is like, hi, right fast. Boom, dead. It's a fun game, though. It is. It's, it's uh, Rogue Legacy is a game. It's a roguelike game, uh, It's which is a very old-fashioned type of gameplay that has been sort of neglected over the years. And uh, it's a 2D side-scroller version of a roguelike, which uh, is more or less a dungeon crawler with RPG elements um, without having that RTS view like Diablo. 
that dungeon crawlers are associated with. It's a fun game. It's cool. It's hard. Uh, so, wrote... did you just do like a singularity bomb, or what, what happened? Uh, that was my void bomb. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty freaking sweet. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I was actually saying it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when my battery's gonna die again. Oh yeah, uh, Les's uh, controller <laughs> is just on the brink of death. Because uh, we go hard. Which, because this game is online, means it probably won't pause. Oh, no, it don't pause. <laughs> I already experienced that. Some guy tried to push me out into the open and he killed me. <laughs> So, this is quite the predicament. And my Les just ran out of assault rifle ammo, and uh, he dies pretty quickly. So, we're gonna see what uh, what he can pull off here. My pants. Wow. That's uh, about it. Yeah. Yeah. Pulling off pants. That's happening. Wow, he just He's destroyer for annihilated a reason. Annihilated you. He's the destroyer for a reason. So how many hours have you put into this game already, Les? Well, very about now, one. Uh, including the beta. Including the beta, you fool. Hmm. So... Oh, shotgun is considered special ammo, um, so any secondary weapon is special. So ammo is green, so white. White ammo is primary, secondary is green, and special is like a purple God, he is just a bowl of rape fest, isn't he? Oh, he is, yeah. In the beta, did you get a taste of uh, how deep the customization is? Wow! Oh, yeah, and because it's online, anyone can steal your freaking items here that you earn. And, uh, really? Everything That's... is shared. So if a giant orb drops, like a Porygon orb, it's like the oh, hexagon, I guess I should say. You just killed an Archon, and we got a warp drive. And this you only have a certain amount of time to collect any leftover ammo see the speaker. and pieces after our main mission. Huh. Yeah, so yeah. if there's anything you need to pick up, pick it up fast. So we just witnessed Leslie going uh, boss mode on this game. <laughs> and almost died twice. Like a fish out of water. Oh, there's some ammo on the ground too. Oh, and I'm almost leveled up again. <laughs> I don't think that's how that phrase is supposed to be used, but... Like a fish out of water? Yeah, yeah going kind of... boss mode. <clears throat> going boss mode like a fish out of water? I don't think... Yeah. I mean, what if the fish gets back in the water? Then he'd be going boss mode. Like, that's like Jesus. It's like <laughs> a Jesus fish. How is that in any way related to Jesus? <laughs> he walked on because... the and drowned. Yeah, see? <laughs> I guess this is the point where I move out. I can't do it. Guys, I'm sorry. I uh, I gave Avery uh, an aneurysm, and uh, he just he can't take it anymore. Is that batteries? It is. It Someone is. gave me life. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> just have to wait for the cutscene to end, so I don't interrupt it. What you got there, buddy? Just you trying are, not to pop you, the cracker barrel. You all right? I'm trying not to make noise. <laughs> got a cracker Wait, jacked, intense mix, when spicy pizzeria. Oh. I'm bald. But that was long. Underneath our hair, we're all bald. Until it wakes and finds its voice. Yeah, I am the one who speaks for the travel. You must have no end of questions, Gunny. Yeah, there's actually a lot of similarities. In its dying breath, 
the traveler created. It's almost the like they spent their entire those who can wield its life develop her developing career making Halo. Guide us to protect us. And do what Here goes this piece of your own. You look like a Decepticon, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That like kind of my goal. Like I'm half expecting like Starscream to just come out of could nowhere and just be like a great Megatron century. and just 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 go at it, just go ham. How the traveler was. Crying. What is it with you and saying going ham? I, could I don't know. Tell you the it's a new thing. It is. Darkness. I don't know who said it's it first, ancient. but I'm just. I don't know. Heard it, clicked in my brain, and boom, going ham. Throughout the city to frighten children. God. You do look Lately, like a deceptive He does. <laughs> yeah, you have one of the three choices. You can have to be a human, an awakened, or an exo. Exos are ancient machines created by humans to defend human race. So you are a Decepticon. I'm an exo, yes. The darkness. Um, That's totally awakened. a Decepticon. Apparently an awakened are like in a species that went to the edge of the galaxy and came back something else. It's army, sir. I know but... Huh. That's their legend. Are they, are they a species or humans? They are a species. They're not humans. They okay. were a species we went to the edge. The some of them go back, but some of them Guardians stay. are fighting on Earth and they beyond. Guardians. But apparently all Guardians Join. used to be dead, and now they got brought Your back. Your ghost will guard you. You don't get because chosen. Traveler and I hope you chose. And... <clears throat> the traveler's not dead. The traveler's just asleep. Oh. I thought he said with the traveler's dying breath he I did the ghost. I'm sure of it. He's not really dead though. We're in this together. Spoiler! <laughs> because he talks to the traveler. He even said that I'm the one who speaks to the traveler. Mm. Spoiler for a game that nobody's beat yet. <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> That'll just be the title of this. Just. Spoilers! It's not a hard game to figure out. Because so where's Master Chief? I don't know, but I kind of think. Are we gonna that, talk like, about Master Chief's oh, piece? There's gonna be a Master Chief, like, cameo of some description, either his armor or something. Or Mind you, one seven or his nipples or his cod piece. Or, you and uh, nipples, dude. I, I know. Nipples are great. Eh. Old Russia, new Russia. I, for one, am not a big Halo person. I like the multiplayer. Of some of them, but uh. Do you like the weapons? Not really. No. No. I can't think of really anything I really like in Halo. I enjoyed the way the. What's it called? The uh. The hog? Right? The. The. The Which like one? truck. Yeah. Car thing. Oh, the Warthog? Warthog, yeah. I enjoyed the way the Warthog controlled on the PC back. version of Halo 1. Because I used your style. mouse for steering. Yeah. Could be which is really cool and innovative, but. It could be something valuable. Other than that. I, I'm sure at the time it was revolutionary, but. I don't know. The story is a whole load of shit. The characters suck balls. The level design is okay. atrocious. Just on the other side of the steps. And the weapons are really it's subpar. So if you guys want to well, leave in the comments how much you, you hate Avery's face, <laughs> I will be reading them and uh, just liking uh, them. <laughs> I will be liking them and um, I mean the more brutal you guys get, is it just the better? I mean if you guys make me laugh, I'll I'll post it up on our next video. I'll just be like, hey guys, this is brutal. But, um, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people love Halo. I'm just not one of them. And if you do, that's totally cool. A lot of my friends love Halo. I just, I only hate them a little bit because of it. Not a lot. <laughs> he was going for redemption points, and then he saw the bad karma choice. Little renegade popped out on the bottom. He's like, yeah, fuck him. Fuck you guys. I'm not going Paragon. Anyway, we'll see you guys on the next episode of 4Pixels.